Hello, good afternoon. Rescuers in India have recovered 10 more bodies after heavy flooding in the southern state of Kerala. Nearly 200 people have been killed in the last 10 days, many in landslides following the heaviest monsoon rains for a century. Helicopters and boats have braved torrential rain to help reach people who've been stranded. And many schools as well as community centres have been converted into relief camps. Here's Jane Francis Kelly. Rescue efforts continue. A soldier winches a child to safety, reuniting it with its relieved mother. In some areas, the waters are beginning to recede, allowing people to retrieve some of their possessions. India's Met Department has forecast a let-up in the heavy rain over the next five days, apart from a few areas in the small coastal state. Kerala often sees some of the highest rainfalls during the monsoon season, but this year it has been exceptional. Flash floods and landslides have killed hundreds and left others destitute. Hundreds of thousands have had to flee to relief camps for food and shelter. These people are living in a government veterinary hospital. There are 10 to 15 children and about 35 of us adults, including really old people. We've been here for the past six days. Others are being fed in a school, unable to return home because they say water is still coming into their houses. All the state's 44 rivers have flooded, swelled by the release of water from dams which have become full. Here local fishermen have come to the rescue. Hundreds of government boats are also out and about searching for people. There are many people who are still trapped in their houses in many places. I hope they get their help very soon. Uh, we couldn't uh, stay there anymore and I am thankful for the people who brought us out of there. Where it's not possible to rescue people, troops have stepped up relief efforts, dropping food and other supplies to remote or cut-off areas. India's Prime Minister Modi visited the state on Saturday and promised millions of pounds in aid. People in neighbouring states are also sending food, medical supplies and clean water. The problem now is getting it to those affected and also stopping the spread of disease due to the unsanitary conditions. Jane Francis Kelly, BBC News. Well, in the last hour, our correspondent, Yugurta Limay, has sent us this report from the affected area. Thousands of people who've been displaced by the floods are here in this relief camp. Uh, they're being given some food, slices of bread and some tea. Some of them were actually in another relief camp not far away, but because that flooded, they were brought here. And what this is, is actually a big school. If you look up there, those are actually classrooms, but they've now been converted into makeshift bedrooms where all of these people are sleeping in the night. Now, as far as the weather is concerned in Kerala, we have had, had some respite from the rainfall over the past 12 hours. But that doesn't mean that people aren't still stranded because the water doesn't recede that quickly. What it has meant is that rescue operations have been able to pick up pace. So boats being pressed into action, helicopters that are airlifting people, uh, those people have been able to be faster because at least there's no risk of the water level suddenly rising. Uh, but as far as these people are concerned and the question of when really they can go back to whatever is left of their home, there's no sense of that because even if we have a long pause from the rainfall uh, because of the nature of Kerala with more than 40 rivers, numerous streams, the water will not recede that quickly.